terrorism suspects in Nigeria. Anti-government anti protests spark nationwide clashes in Bangladesh. The special message, Governor Chukwu Masoludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good morning and welcome to the news. My name is Nonye Mokoye. ANSEC The Anambra State Executive Council, ANSEC I don't understand what is going on. for the hitches in the course of beginning the news. Now, Nanambra State Executive Council, ANSEC, has approved new contracts for immediate execution. This was contained in a release signed recently by the State Commissioner for Information, Sapoa Mosu. According to the release, the contracts include beautification of the COOU teaching hospital premises, OCA, approved at the tone of over 96 million naira 968,000 Naira to Telmark Engineering Services. This project is proposed to be delivered in eight months. The Council also approved construction of the Trauma Center at the Chukwemeka Odumego Juku University Teaching Hospital Lamarco Oka for the sum of over 1,296 million Naira. to three seconds resources limited, which is to be delivered in eight months. Also, the supply of maintenance equipment for the Chinua Achebe Airport, Umweri, for the sum of over 437 million naira was approved. The contract is awarded to Peace Impex Company Limited, and it will be completed in two months. Christian women have been asked to raise the banner of Christ through holy living and aggressive evangelism against idolatry. The president of the Women's Ministry of the Anglican Diocese of Amichi Dim Nkem Ikako made the call while delivering her presidential address to the 16th Amichi Diocesan Women Conference held at St. Andrew's Anglican Church, Unubi, Newi South, local government area. A correspondent in Jideka Okoye tells us more. Friends, idolatry, curses, consequences, and cure said that the major aim for discussing the theme was to intentionally address the recent embarrassing spiritual development among church members, where women are boldly reviving and relapsing into idolatry, noting that any heart where Jesus Christ has not been enthroned as Lord is a hideout for idolatry. Them came applauded the good works of Governor Chukuma Soludo in Anambra, which include continuous recruitment of teachers to standardize public schools, ongoing construction of flyover at Ekulobia to ease the usual traffic gridlock, massive construction of roads, among others. The presidential address also commended visionary leadership of the governor's wife, Mrs. Nonye Soludo, such as bringing back women to their duty post and challenged women to go back to their backyard garden, to their backyard garden, where they can get natural food for their families. Them Kem regretted the bad economy and hunger ravaging the nation, bad leadership, infrastructural decay, among others, and called on the federal government to take proactive measures in tackling the challenges. Urging Nigerians to look unto God for help. Speaking on behalf of other bishops' wives, 
in attendance the president of the Women's Ministry of Province of the Niger, Dr. Mata Ibezim, represented by the wife of the Bishop of Ihiala Diocese, Professor Faith Okoye, commended Amichi Diocese for numerous achievements recorded so far, adding that the theme of the conference is apt in a time like this, and noted that people are practicing idolatry in so many ways, including fashion, and urged Christians to be careful the way they live their lives. Welcoming the delegates and their guests to the conference, the Bishop of the Diocese, Right Reverend Ephraim Ikako, advised them not to pay lip service to the fight against idolatry, as its consequences are enormous, urging them to take the message of the conference to their respective churches, communities, workplaces, and families. Others who spoke during the conference, including the wife of the Archdeacon of Umuchu Archdeaconry, Mrs. Glory Wankwo, and a member of the diocese, Lady Uche Atuchuku, among others, commended the outstanding achievements of the Women Ministry of the Diocese, adding that the diocese always set a pace for others to emulate. Appreciation of the diocesan bishop's wife by different groups in the diocese through presentation of gifts and songs, launching of the presidential address, among others, formed the highlights of the event. From St. Andrew's Anglican Church, Unubi, Njideka, Okoye, ABS News. Blessing Brilliant International Academy Abagana has held its 2024 graduation ceremony for pupils who have successfully completed their kindergarten, nursery three, and basic six education in the school. The ceremony which held at the school premises is the third graduation ceremony of the school. Our correspondent, Chukwemeka Modelem, now reports. Because it's not easy. Yes, the occasion commenced with ushering of the graduates into the arena by their teachers with special music. Addressing the gathering, the proprietress of the school, Mrs. Blessing David, explained that they are committed to reshaping destinies and the innate hidden potential of children that have been covered by lack of focus by transforming them academically, morally, and intellectually. Mrs. David disclosed that the school has successfully employed quality teachers whose main motive is to bring out the best in the children in their care through studious study and urged their parents to continue to have confidence in them as the school is a sure way to guiding pupils to discovering themselves. She commended the graduates for recording impressive academic performance and urged them not to relent. We are here towards remolding and reshaping destinies. This thing was divinely choosing in order to take the mind of our parents back to the previous way of inculcating good moral behaviors into the kids. In his remark, the chairman on the occasion, Chief Stephen Alajemba, who noted that education is essential to achieving goals, commended the school management for turning out brilliant children who could compete favorably with their counterparts and advised parents to always invest in the education of their children to safeguard their future. <laughs> On his part, a guest at the ceremony, Mr. Chika Jerry Okeke, charged the school pupils to remain focused and work hard to achieve their potential and urged their teachers to see their work as service to God by giving their best to them as it will enable them to excel in their academic pursuit. Yes, sir. I advise the pupils to stay focused. Don't work hard. Don't work hard. Don't work hard. The ceremony also featured presentations of awards to pioneers of the school, their outgoing pupils, launching of a book titled The Dark Rain Cloud, written by Precious Enyin Naya in Basic 5, debate, drama, and quiz competition by the children from Abagana, Chukwemeka, Mordelem, ABS News. The Governing Council of Nandi Azikiwe University has appointed a Professor of Law, Professor Carol Umobi, as Acting Vice-Chancellor of the institution. This was made known during a press briefing by the institution which was delivered 
by the Special Advisor to the Vice Chancellor on Public Relations and Special Duties, Dr. Emmanuel Ojuku. Our correspondent, Amaka Chibuzo Koye, fired this report. Juku noted that the 10th Governing Council of UNIZIG, appointed by President Bolatinubu, shared by Ambassador Greg Mbadiwe, made the appointment in fulfillment of their first assignment. He noted that the appointment became necessary after Professor Joseph Ikechebelo was directed to assume the position of Vice Chancellor on temporary capacity pending when the Governing Council and Acting Vice Chancellor, Dr. Ojuku, made it clear that the Governing Council, following the recommendations of the University Senate, appointed Professor Umobi as acting vice chancellor stating that professor Ike Chebelo will return to his position as deputy vice chancellor administration and can contest for the position when the council advertises the position of vice chancellor he described as misinformation and misrepresentation by social media reports that there are two acting vice chancellors at UNISIC, adding that there was no governing council for more than one year until the 10th was appointed Dr. Ojuku further stated that the 10th Governing Council wants to make sure that anybody who is contesting for the Office of Substantive Vice Chancellors of the institution will not be an acting Vice Chancellor because they want to create a level playing ground for all contestants, noting that the Council also received a letter from Academic Staff Union of Universities who advised that it is not right to appoint someone an acting vice chancellor when it's clear that the said person will eventually contest for vice chancellorship, giving such a person an undue advantage over others. He maintained that within the period that Professor Umobi's appointment is expected to last, which is a period of six months, the University Council will advertise for qualified candidates to apply for the position of vice chancellor and there will shortlist, interview, and appoint the most qualified person as vice chancellor. There are so many issues in the media, misrepresentations, misinformation that there are two uh, active vice in UNICEF. It is not true. No active vice was appointed by council until now. Professor Joseph Ikechega was only told to oversee the university. The council, in fulfillment of his duties, has now appointed an acting vice chancellor, Professor Carol Arizumobi, who has assumed office from the Nnamde Azikiwe University, Unizik Oka. I am Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, reporting for ABS News. Now, the atmosphere was that of joy and accomplishments as years 12 and 9 students of Jose Maria Academy Oka class of 2024 celebrated their graduation for final year of their senior and junior secondary school, respectively. The event which held at the premises of the academy in Oka attracted students, teachers, parents, friends, well-wishers, and had Master Miguel Nadumaka as the best graduating student year 12. Alexander Nebolis of year 10 emerged overall best for senior category, while Adobe Ugokwe of Year 7 emerged overall best for junior category. The ceremony featured presentation of certificates to graduating students, awards, choir rendition, ballet, songs, poem, dance, drama, among other side attractions. Our correspondent, Queen Anibogo, fired this report. <laughs> In her farewell message, the director and founder of the academy, Mrs. Nkechi Ononeba, said her heart swells with pride and admiration for each and every of the graduates as they bid farewell to the walls of Jose Maria Academy, where they have grown, learned, and friendship that will last a lifetime. She told them that as they navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead, they should remember that they are capable of achieving anything they set their minds to. They should believe in themselves, trust in their abilities, and never lose sight of their dreams. Having gone through the school, with everything we do in school, we live by example and be like um, role models. I wish them um, joy, good luck, hard work, success. 
and in their next endeavor. For the principal of the academy, Mr. Chinelu Ikechuku James, she is filled with immense pride and heartfelt emotions as the graduates mark the end of their journey at the school, which is both of celebration and reflection. She noted that as they step into the next chapter of their lives, they should be reminded of the values and lessons they have learned in the school, and they should carry with them the integrity, kindness, and respect that they have demonstrated within the walls of the school. Today is a, a wonderful celebration. Uh, we are graduating. The pioneer students of the school uh, just had their graduation, coupled with the year nine, the JSS3 students who are also going to a transition. And it's been an awesome program. A lot of things have been put in place to make it a success, and we thank God. For it. The chairman on the occasion and a parent, Mr. Kelechi Ihekoromado, expressed gratitude to God for their children, to parents that have strived and went out of their ways to make these children have a life, saying as they celebrate the culmination of hard work by their children, their dedication and perseverance are filled with a profound sense of pride and admiration for each and every one of them, that the day marks a significant milestone in their lives. In his valedictory speech, the valedictorian and best graduating student, year 12, Master Miguel Nadumaka, appreciated their parents, teachers who molded them while congratulating his fellow graduates, describing education as the most powerful weapon which one can use to change the world. In an interview, the mother of the best graduating student, Mrs. Chibuzo Nadumaka, said she feels overwhelmed with happiness for having her son emerge the best, saying training of children entails hard work and commitment. Queen Anibogo, reporting for ABS News. In case you're just joining us, you're watching ABS Television News. Up ahead, federal government commences mass trial of terrorism suspects in Nigeria. Anti-government protests spark nationwide clashes in Bangladesh. These and more stories will come after the break. Do join us again. The new me <laughs> One passenger, one passenger. Big auntie. Come and enter my bus now. Hey, conductor, this cough is serious, I beg. You need to go to the hospital. Hospital? Ah. Doctors say cough symptoms are different in every condition. Some are dry, others are wet, like your own. God bless you, auntie. I have told this my conductor. A cough has refused to go. And it could be tuberculosis. <coughs> ah, conductor, check ammo. Make you day sure. Because who no go? No, no go, no. no. Check that cough for tuberculosis. Check ammo, check ammo. Make you day sure. If your cough is more than two weeks, it could be tuberculosis. TB test and TB treatment are free. Just call the National TB Hotline on 3340 or dial star 3340 hash for more information. This message is brought to you by the Federal Ministry of Health with support from the American people. The new Milo 3-in-1 Milky and Creamy is truly milky and contains calcium. So, no need to add milk for that rich creamy cup which helps to nourish and energize your kids. Milo 3-in-1 is such a smart choice. Milo, energy to go further. On the national scene, the National Counter-Terrorism Center, Office of the National Security Advisor, says the government has resumed mass trials of terrorism suspects in the country. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif Fawemi San, stated in December 2023 that the federal government secured 366 convictions in the trial of Boko Haram terrorists conducted in 2017. In addition, he said 896 suspects were discharged for lack of evidence while 61 other cases were adjourned for further hearing. In December 2023, the federal government also secured the conviction of four Boko Haram financiers. In a statement by the head of strategic communication, NCTCONSA, Mr. Abu Michael said, the trial would be conducted in line with the international criminal justice system. Mr. Michael stated that at least 300 suspects 
are on trial with five judges presiding over the five courts and chambers established for the swift administration of justice. It insults the suspects who are being represented by lawyers from the Legal Aid Council of Nigeria. The ongoing trial, which is in line with the international criminal justice system, is being administered by the Federal High Court of Nigeria with a complex case work group of the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation in collaboration with other critical stakeholders under the coordination and supervision of the National Counterterrorism Center, Office of the National Security Advisor. On the foreign scene, anti-government protests have sparked nationwide clashes in Bangladesh between police and university students. At least 150 people have been killed and some were caught up in bloodshed. One student said demonstrators in the capital, Dakar, just wanted to hold a peaceful rally, but the police ruined it by attacking them as they were gathering. A student leader now recovering in hospital described how he was blindfolded and tortured by people claiming to be police. Meanwhile, an emergency department doctor said they were overwhelmed as dozens of young people with gunshot wounds were brought in at the height of the clashes. Security forces are accused of ex excessive force by the government, has blamed political opponents for the unrest which erupted after quotas were imposed on government jobs. Most of these have now been scraped on Supreme Court orders. The violence is the most serious challenge in years to Sheikh Hasina 76, who secured her fourth straight term as Prime Minister in January. In a controversial election boycotted by the country's main opposition parties, according to the report, Police attacked students by throwing tear gas shells after 11.30 a.m. At that moment, a few students picked up those tear gas shells and threw them back towards the policemen, who later started using rubber bullets and at one point trapped the students in their campus, even stopping them from taking the badly injured to the hospital. On sports news, two Manchester United players, Radek Vitek and Joe Hugel, are set to leave Old Trafford on loan. The duo have impressed in pre-season for Eric Ten Hag's side so far. Vitek started for Man United in their pre-season 1-0 defeat against Rosenborg and was named man of the match after pulling off a string of saves while Hugill, on the other hand, scored a goal in Man United's 2-0 win against Rangers. However, Vitek and Hugill are expected to make their loan move before 2024-2025 season starts in August. And with that sports news, we come to the end of the news. But remember, you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page. Follow us at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube at ABS Television, OKA, on X at ABS Radio TV, and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And the main news again, ANSEC has approved contracts for beautification of Chukwemeka Odumego Juku University Teaching Hospital, Oka. 16 Tamichi Diocesan Women Conference has called for aggressive evangelism against idolatry. Federal government has commenced mass trial of terrorism suspects in Nigeria. And from the foreign scene, we brought reports that anti-government protests have sparked nationwide clashes in Bangladesh. The special message once again, Governor Chikoma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo valleys. Let's continue to give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's the news. We thank you so much for watching. My name is Nonye Mokoye. Good morning and have a beautiful day.